Hi guys, so I'm here to answer a question that I get asked quite a bit in regards to sponsoring a child through World Vision. So a lot of people have asked about corresponding with your sponsor child and how often do I hear from my sponsor children? Um, you know, some people have said that it's been like a year and they haven't heard from them or all they get is the annual report and that's it. And so I kind of am here to talk about that and kind of answer that question. So um, basically, the child that I've sponsored the longest is Yorgely's. Um, This is her scrapbook here. I think I've showed it to you guys before. But um, there's stuff in there that I have to add to her scrapbook that I haven't yet. But anyways, January 2005 is when I started sponsoring Yorgely's. And um, so this was her when I first started sponsoring her, but she looks completely different now. It's crazy to have watched her grown up. But... Um, Yorgelise has been a very unique experience for me. Um, it, from my understanding, it has not been the norm for World Vision sponsorship. Um, so I've been really, really lucky in that regard. Um, and I'll explain what I mean by that. So the whole time that I've been a sponsor to Yorgelis. Um, I, you know, I, I probably wrote to her a lot more throughout the year than I do now. Um, so at the beginning, I was writing to her a few times per year, and she would always respond to my letters. Um, now, of course, at the time, she was too young to write the letters herself. So it was generally her, um, uh, a family member that would write the letters and then of course the letters are translated um, so yeah so basically anytime I would write I would usually get a letter back now here's where it's a unique experience because most people that sponsor through World Vision in regards to photographs of their sponsor child will only get one photograph per year with the annual report. But for some reason, I don't know why, but anytime I would send any kind of little gift to her for her birthday, for Christmas, for back to school, um, I would receive extra photos of her throughout the year because they would take a photo of her holding the stuff that I sent to her. Um, and so I was really, really lucky in that regard um, because they don't usually do that. Like here was the first extra photo I got. She was holding um, some coloring books and crayons, paint by water books and paint brushes that I had sent her for Christmas. Um, and then this was the annual report um and then again here's her holding the gifts that i sent her for her third birthday um they are princess hair clips and i had sent her a beach ball because of course when a beach ball is deflated it's very flat so it was easy to send and they blew it up and she had a ball to play with um and then again, there was another time that I sent her this little doll in a bubble envelope with a little bouncy ball. And I got a picture of her um, holding that. And then there was a time that I made an attempt because <laughs> um, I had read on a forum somewhere for sponsors um, that someone had once attempted to send a disposable camera to their child to take photos with and then oh uh, I think I forget how it was supposed to work but I think like 
they paid the shipping to have it sent back after that and then they developed the photos and got to see pictures of their child and their um, community and stuff like that. So I thought I would give it a go and I tried it but the camera got lost. They never received it. And so when that happened and I had asked about it and they said, oh, we never received the camera or whatever. Well, I got these wonderful pictures of Yorgelise's house. This is her sitting outside of her house looking at a photo book that I sent her. This is a picture of some of her family members that she lived with and an uncle of hers and her dog. And again, this is not something that World Vision usually sends. So I was very, very lucky. Um, I just kept getting extra photos, you know, so it was a real treat. Um, here's another one that she sent of her holding a little tiny doll that I sent her, um, either for birthday or Christmas. And this is her with her grandma. Um, so yeah, it's, and, and, you know, here she is with some more dollies that I sent her, um, and things like that. So, and again, her with gifts that I sent. So I was very lucky. That's her with some pound puppies that I sent her. And this is like her annual picture. And so, you know, I've just been very spoiled with this sponsorship because it is not the norm. I just want people to know that, that when you sponsor, you usually only get one photo per year with the annual report. But in terms of, and there she is with some books I sent. I found them in her language. They're Robert, uh, one's a Robert Munch book and one is if you give a mouse a cookie. Um, but yeah, you usually should only get sorry, one per year, one photo per year with the annual report. But you usually should at the very least receive a letter back if you have written a letter to them. There she is with more gifts. So you see, I'm just very lucky. I have a lot of pictures of her, which again, I say is not the norm. <laughs> um, I love this. This is something that she made me really cute. Um, so yeah, I've just been extremely lucky in that sense and I don't want to give anyone false hope that they're going to get the same. It's just been, I don't know what it is. Maybe, maybe they have more resources um, in their World Vision office there to do these things, but I think most places just can't afford to print because all of the pictures are printed from computers. So I just don't think they can afford to print that many photographs per year, like if like to send out extras. So, you know, like they just, they just probably don't have the resources because um, the next child that I sponsored was a girl named Change. And I do have a little scrapbook for her too, but her scrapbook is all letters from her. Well, again, written by family members for her because she was too young to write. Um, so all I have from her are letters and her annual report cards with her annual photo and, um, usually a Christmas card from her every year. So I just, so that was all that I got from her. And then when she left, um, her family just up and moved and left the area and World Vision could not locate them. So they were out of the program. They reassigned me to Maria. And so Maria is, I've been sponsoring her now, I guess, two years. And I will let you know that the very first year of sponsoring her, the only thing I received was her annual report and a Christmas card. Um, I had written her a, a letter to introduce myself and I was told that I'd receive an introduction letter from her as well, but I didn't. 
Um, and I think I probably sent one other letter somewhere during that year and didn't hear anything back either. But then I did finally get a letter back from her after I sent um, a Christmas gift to her, the first Christmas, I believe, I think. No, maybe not, because I think I sponsored her just a little bit before Christmas and that. So I'm not really sure. I can't remember when I started sponsoring her, if it fell right near Christmas or what. But anyways, it was about a year before I actually received a letter from her. And so now, you know, the only times I've written to her since then have been to send her a birthday gift or a Christmas gift. And I usually include a letter at that time. And she has written back on those times. Um, and then of course I get the annual report with her annual picture. I haven't gotten any extra photos of her. Um, now I haven't like, you know, like I say, I don't write a whole bunch throughout the year. Like I used to, I really need to get back to doing that cause I miss doing that, but <sighs> things just get so hectic. And then Time just seems to go by faster and faster and I just, you know, next thing you know, it's their birthday or Christmas and I'm like, oh man, I haven't really written them throughout the year. So I need to try doing that some more and see if I can get more letters from her. Um, so definitely like don't sit back and wait for your sponsor child to get in touch with you because the only thing you'll probably receive then is the annual report or, and a Christmas card. Um, so you need to, you know, take that step and write them a letter and they should write back, um, in response. And, you know, I usually keep the letters very simple. Um, I don't like to talk a lot about, uh, trips that I go on or things that I have because I don't want them to feel bad that they don't have these things. So I generally just talk about what's going on in my life. Sometimes I'll mention, you know, how my health is doing. I'll talk about the kind of weather we're having at that season, <coughs> about my family. And then I'll usually ask them questions like, how are they doing in school? Um, what season are they in? Cause quite often they're in a totally different season to what I'm in. Um, you know, what they like to do, um, do they have any friends, um, what are some, like, traditions that they do around this time of year, you know, things like that, just open-ended questions so that they can respond back and you can, you know, learn a bit more about them and stuff like that. So, that's pretty much all I have to say on the subject of correspondence, um, like I said, I, it's been a real unique, um, and a real blessing of an experience with the Orgelies to be able to have all these extra photos and they've always been good about answering my letters and everything. Um, and so far, you know, like change when I had change that I was sponsoring, she answered all my letters, but I did not receive extra pictures of her because I felt like I think she was in more of an impoverished area and so they probably didn't have the resources to print out extra photos throughout the year because it was just too costly. Um, that's the way I took it and that was fine. Um, as long as I got replies from letters I sent and she would always, you know, thank me for the gifts that I sent and you know, she would say, oh, I like this and that that you sent me or whatever. Then, you know, I knew that she received it and all was good. Um, so, yeah, like that's all I can really suggest is just, you know, write letters and just hope for a response. But it sometimes can take a while for a response because it has to go overseas. It goes to the World Vision office um, in the town. And they have to go through all of that mail. And then when they get to your sponsor child's um, mail, they have to translate it all. 
and then they have to take it to the child's home and because obviously they do not give out your child's home address they just for privacy for safety it just goes to the world vision office they handle it they take care of it they translate it they take it to them and then I guess when once the child or an adult in the child's life writes back they write it in their language and then it has to go through the translator again and then at the World Vision office and then the World Vision office sends that out in the mail back to you so it can take a few months it really can it can take a few months before you get a response and that's why I think like when I first started sponsoring originally and she was the only child I was sponsoring I was actually sending her a letter about every month to every two months because it kept the correspondence frequent that way because by the time she would get one letter I was already getting a letter back from my previous letter and then I would respond to that letter and that would go out and then I'd get a response from my previous letter you know what I mean so excuse me so it really kept the correspondence like active and going um, but I've really been kind of lacking on letters throughout the year and I really want to try and change that this year I want to get back to sending those letters and not focus on so much as sending gifts because that's what I really do is like for their birthday and Christmas I send gifts and then I send a letter with that but it's like then you have like this whole year I haven't learned anything about them or they haven't learned anything about me like it used to be so I really need to get that communication going again but that's really all I can say and honestly like if you have written to your child a few times and haven't heard anything back I would contact World Vision and talk to them about it and see what might what the problem might be because you really should be getting letters back if you have written them so I would definitely get in touch with World Vision and find out what's going on and I'm sure that they'll rectify the problem whatever it may be so yeah so that is my response on the question that I always get about correspondence because um, I think people get a little confused when they see so much coming from your Jolies um, but let me tell you your Jolies is 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 a rarity <laughs> then the more norm is just letters from them in response to your letters or gifts and the annual report with one photo per year and a Christmas card per year so yeah so like I said though if you're not getting those things um, and also World Vision should be sending you um, birthday cards to sign and send to your child they should also be sending you it looks like now they're doing Valentine's every year um, so they should be sending you Valentine's to sign and return for your child um, they should also be sending you a Christmas card um, to sign and send to your child so definitely if you're not receiving those things either definitely get in touch with World Vision because you should be because um, that's another part of it is that they try to make it easier for you to correspond so that let's say you just can't afford the postage even like honestly like even now just to send a letter overseas is really is the stamp is expensive at least over here it's probably like two dollars or something now but so it, you know so that you don't have to keep using two dollar stamps world vision will send you like they just sent me um valentine's for my children and all i had to do was sign my name to them and they provide an envelope that's got the postage already paid and it goes to the World Vision office that's closest to you so it's local and then they forward it on to your child for you um, so that you don't have to pay any postage to keep in touch with them so that's an excellent way also World Vision now also has the option to email your child um, 
I'm not sure what the website is because it might vary depending on what country you live in. So I would, if you don't know the website, I would definitely call World Vision to find out. But there's definitely a World Vision website that you can sign up with and you can go in and you can read about your child's area. You can see where they are progressing um, on the project in their area. Um, like it'll show you what phase of the project, the development project they're in. Um, you can see updated photos of your child. Like usually they'll put their annual photo up there. You can email your child through there. So that's, you know, another way to save on postage and keep in touch. So it's a lot faster too, because, and, and I don't know why I don't think to do that even, um, more frequently, um, I did do it a couple times so you can send an email and I guess they'll email back or maybe they'll even just send a, a letter back I'm not really sure how it works because it's been a while since I've used it but yeah that's that's another option to to keep in touch with your sponsor child so yeah so that's about it I think that's I've covered just about everything and I hope that this was helpful to you if you're a sponsor and you were having some issues with communication and correspondence um hope this gives you some tips and advice and um, give it a thumbs up if you if it really helped you guys and thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video bye